All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the top 100, or rugby player reacts to the top 100, NFL players of 2018. We're gonna crack back into it. We're at number 76, Melvin Ingram, defensive end for the Chargers. The, who are the Chargers? Who are the Chargers? Let me think. I actually don't know, we're about to find out. Anyways, guys. Let's crack into this. We're doing number 76, 75, 74, and 73. We've got nothing but nothing left to do but to do it. Let's do this. Super Mel. He definitely... Y'all done cheated Mel now. Y'all know Mel should have been on the list. And he was not on the list. He looks monstrous. Look at his tricep. <laughs> We call him Superman, if you didn't know. He do everything, man. Backflip and practice, he do whatever you need to do. Walk the dog, paint the fence, Gatorade, cool, all that. He do all that, man. That's Superman. Oh, a lightning bolt from the right edge. It's Melvin Ingram. He's one of the guys I think's been underrated. You're not going to get just the same old move from him every time. I think, you know, he can do any kind of backflip you want. You, you, you know what kind of athleticism he has. If you mess up on your technique, if you overset, give him the right of way to go inside, he's going to beat you. Hey! What is he defensive end? So that's like off just to the side of the the five line of scrimmage. And so he's gonna be a link between the two, right? He can drop back if he needs to, he can go forward and blitz the quarterback if he needs to. Is that right? What about yourself? What do you bring? What is your strength? Everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. I'm everything. Of, I feel like I'm one of the unique players in this league. I can play every position on the football field. And that's not even exaggerating. We're talking like strong safety? Any, any position out there. You got that kind of foot speed? Definitely. I'm on my Dion. That's what we're talking about. I'm on my Dion. Sneaked up by Melvin Ingram. Touchdown. Dion Sanders. <laughs> the run. The thing about him is his quickness. Tell you what, guys, if I get into, if I get, if I go for a touchdown, right, I'm gonna do that drag step thing that that prime time used to do. I seriously am. I'm gonna put the ball up here, fucking do my drag step, look around. Oh, it's gonna be brilliant. Him and Vaughn have that freakish, you know, that little quickness, that little suddenness that just makes you a step late. I'm gonna have to practice the way it. He can get to where he needs to get before they can react is just unbelievable. To try and match it up on some guard. Moving from the right and the left, they can flip both so they can put them on the same side. Hey, I killed him in the spin one time, so he said, boy, that spin was nasty. Ingram and uh, Joey Bosa, I mean, they got, you know, two-headed monster on the edges, and what's unique about them, they even line them up on the same side sometimes, and just really dominate one side of the line. You see Melvin kind of roaming around in the middle, and those guys are always showing up on tape. Nice. If you ask him, he say he should be number one. He definitely gonna say he should be number one if you talk to him. Who'd you put at number one? Me, definitely. <laughs> I don't think you could put anybody else there. Melvin Ingram, man, we're gonna have to look you up, buddy. Let's look at your, uh, let's look at your draft measurables. Melvin Ingram, Los Angeles Chargers, right? No, we're gonna have to go Wikipedia. Melvin Ingram, 1989, so he's 20, 29. Here we go, six foot two, 120 kilos. He's got a four point, he's probably got 4.740. Vertical jump, 35 inches. 28 reps on the bench press. He's strong as fuck and he's, he's pretty fast. All right, Melvy, let's get back to you. Ingram's game is built on finesse and power. It's a loss of seven and Ingram just shoved his own offensive <laughs> into two of them. His presence is constant. It's like dominoes. His impact. I don't really have to motivate myself to play the game of football. Either you got it or you don't. There's really no friends between the lines. At the end of the day, we get paid to do this, and we get to take care of our families with it. Don't sack the 
What? Quarterback. Let's go stop. Him. Guy, let's go. Yep. And Alex Smith had nowhere to go. He might as well get into the fetal position. If he get paid, he ain't gonna take care of my family. Just like if I get paid, I ain't gonna take care of his family. So I gotta go out there and earn my money. Yeah, we're we putting our foot on him. We're putting our foot on him. We're putting our foot on his throat. How about a play where he maybe never messed you? Nah, I don't, I don't think it's no plays like that. There's no opponents. <laughs> Nothing like that at all? Nah. Oh, sh oh shit, number 75, <clears throat> what is going on here? There we go, Cam Chancellor, who is the player that I've just talked about before saying that he retired, I, I'm pretty sure, so this is interesting, this is his last season, guys, let's see what comes of it. He just plays at one speed and it's very violent. He's a violent man. Still a top 100 player. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, especially when he's healthy. Despite playing in a career low nine games due to injury in 2017, Cam Chancellor has made the top 100 for the fifth straight oh. year. When he's playing, you gotta know where he is, and especially for the receivers coming across the middle. The looks, fires down the seam, incomplete. Get it? In the hands of Cam. That guy is a monster roaming around in center field, and wide receivers aren't completely stupid. You can be the bravest person on the face of the earth, and you are still going to flex a little bit. Just the passion. See, as a safety, right, that ball comes in, right? You're thinking, okay, if I've got a chance to grab it on the full and get a pick, I'm going to go for it. But if I don't, I'm going to switch my attention from the ball to that ball carrier who's about to jump up and try and get it. Because as soon as he does, I'm going to smash the shit out of him. Is that how it goes? Let me know. He brings to that team, I think, when he's in the lineup and out the lineup, you can kind of tell whenever he makes that big play, it kind of changes the momentum of the game. Peterson takes the handoff. He gets hit in the end zone. He's going to go down. Good hit. Against the Cardinals, it was a really good play. He shot through that, and that running back is hard to tackle, Adrian Peterson. No, it's just a beautiful play. It's just another Cam Chancellor type of play. It's going to be a safety! Why did they give it to their running back? Well, I guess that's the... I guess you would, right on your line. You don't want to lose yards. What's the best option to not lose yards? Guaranteed. A running back run. Is that right? Didn't work. If you talk about a guy who's recreated the position, I think you talk about Cam Chancellor, I think he's a guy, whenever you become a guy where people talk about in the draft, you want that type of guy, and when they draft in a guy who reminds you of that guy, then you've reached another stature in the NFL. You made it, man. They can move him around and drop him down like the Cam Chancellor who can play this combination, safety linebacker position. Cam, I look up to, we kind of look like same like players, and I, I hear that a lot. I watched him in high school a lot. It's just that enforcer type. That's just a little about. Got to be a dog. Legion of Boom. Got to have a safety mentality and a linebacker mentality. He's like another linebacker. He's able to play in a box. He's able to play linebacker in nickel defenses. Cam right there to stop the running game in its tracks. <laughs> He's one of the best run defenders I said in the age. You see a lot of times as a run defender, Bang. he's able to turn back the play so someone else can make it. Richard Sherman is right there to make the tackle. Cam Chancellor is going to be right there, and then Richard Sherman has to be right there. And you don't want that back to get a bunch of space, so watch him jump up in there. And then Cam Chancellor gave him a little uh, butt help there on the side. Came a little what for? He's definitely one of the greatest players in the NFL, probably the NFL history. That's the game. What is fun, though? Far out, and he's just retired due to head injuries. Is that right? All right, guys, one more for this video. Cameron Wake, number 74, defensive end for the Miami Dolphins. I do believe. I haven't seen. I haven't seen any players from my, from the Miami Dolphins yet, but I do like the sound of Miami. <laughs> I gotta say, and I like the colours. So let's do this. He's an animal, he's a freaking nature. And like you say, man, I think the guy's like 36 years old and he's playing like he's 22. I'm 35. 
I'm 35. <laughs> I'm 27, man. I'm not that much. I'm not that far behind. <laughs> oh, look at those arms. You would not. Oh my fucking god! Look at this guy. Miami you are kidding me. Ben Cameron Wake proves that age is just a number. At 35 years old, he. Look at this guy's physique. Total ten and a half sacks. Thanks in large part to his signature get off. He's got an amazing get off. Uh, keys on the ball. Uh, obviously watches the clock. Very smart intellectual player and uh, knows when to get off. Low, so I said three, two, oh, I'm gone. Wake up! Oh, right around the corner, he flew past us. I know one thing. They f***ed up when they got off that plane. They think they know what they about to get into? They have no idea. This guy, you know, you hear all the things about him, you know, his age. But he comes to work like it's his first day. They literally, they, because in rugby, right, you, you make a tackle, you make an awesome tackle, you got no time to celebrate. You're on to the next play. But because there's a stoppage after every single play, it's like there's a, there's a celebration after doing anything on the field, which I like. I love that fact. I love that. I, I want to see what their celebration is. I want to see what, what their reaction is every time an awesome play is done. Because that's the fun of it, man. It's a show. It's not only a sport, but it's a show. And I like it. Look yeah, at those arms, just I mean, you're probably in the league. You know, I know those tacos uh, always know they got their hands full when you're out there. If you get Cam Wake on a guard, you'll take that all day. <laughs> He's straight power. You know when you go play Cameron Wake, you're going to feel it the next day. So I'm just... Every time, I'm just taking him right to the power. Because, you know, he's going to come at you. He's going to go through you. I can bull him into the quarterback. <laughs> Here comes Cameron Wake. He works inside. Don't worry about blocking him. You ain't blocking him. He just goes past him up the field. Turn. <laughs> How did he hold on to that one? Big hit for Cameron Wake. Speed of power. All good. Even though age may be a, a factor uh, for other people, it doesn't seem to be for him at all. All right, guys. So that was it. That was another video done. If you have liked this video, I want to say please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do, because I'll still be here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, we're going to be going with number 73, Thomas Davis, linebacker for the Panthers. And I cannot wait. Let's do this.